I am that British guy and welcome to what will be the final episode of my playthrough of Metal Gear 2. We have finally made it to the end. Um, apologies that it's taken so long to get here. As you may be aware, issues earlier in the year um, with house and all that malarkey. Um, I'm sure if you've made it this far you know all those bits and pieces. Um, as I said in my last video, I have three contenders for my next playthrough, and here they are. We have Micro Machines V3, Formula 197, and Gran Turismo as well, the original one. All PlayStation 1 games, and basically I'm throwing it open to you guys. Which would you prefer me to play through next? Please let me know in the comments for this video or my previous video. You can also let me know on Twitter or on Facebook. Um, yeah, just please let me know if there is any preference there and I will play through that one next. But before we do that, we need to finish off Metal Gear 2. So let's jump into what will be the final episode. Right, Marv is dead, and basically we need to use the brooch to go in here. Now there's another sneaky bit about this that the game doesn't tell you. The, um, the rats in here, because there's cheese in this, they are very much drawn to that. So they should... we go through here and then crawl back out again it should follow me oh dang There's no more rats. Perfect. Cartridge. Du, 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 cartridge. Snake. Snake. He'll never let you get away. He'll use it. He'll use Metal Gear. I have one last gift. For my daughter, Ellen. I'll tell you how to destroy it. How to destroy the new Metal Gear? Try as I might, I could not reconcile East and West in my heart. Oh my god. But Ellen is different, Snake. You must do this for Ellen. How do I destroy Metal Gear? The armor is thinnest on the legs. Use grenades on the legs. It is the only way. The final delusion of a senile old man. There is no way to destroy this Metal Gear snake. Fox, where are you? Come and find out, snake. Go through the front door. What if I go through the other doors first? Things. Things, lots of things. Oh, I can't carry any more. Anything under here? Ooh, more rations. Cool. So it's definitely worth checking these places out. Ooh. Aha, grenades. Oh, I've got loads anyway. And in here? Nope. 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 Oh, I can't get through there yet. What does the thing say? The game cartridge left behind by Dr. Mark. The Oilix microfilm is hidden inside. Right. 
So, let's have some rations and some grenades. 120. I hope that's going to be enough. Oh. Hello? What? Oh, what a random card to use. It's Metal Gear! In fairness, given the age of this game when it first came out, that is a pretty impressive looking boss. Snake, I'm not the same as I used to be, and neither is Metal Gear. I'll show you what fear really is. Prepare to taste defeat. Wow. Stop pummeling me. Wow. Wow, that was stupidly quick and easy. I just kind of took the hits. I was kind of half expecting to need to destroy the other side of it as well for some reason. The cartridge is mine, Snake! Burn in hell! Ow, I'm on fire! Snake, your items are on fire. Throw away all your weapons and equipment quickly. Use the circle button. Oh man! All of them? Go away! Stop killing me! What? But these don't say that they're on fire. But I'm still on fire. Oh, now I'm not on fire anymore. Cool. The door opens. Where am I? The perfect ring for our final battle. It's been a while, Snake. Here we are, back in the minefield. What say we go at it hand in hand? A chicken fight? The two greatest rivals in Foxhound. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Fox, I'll beat some sense back into you. Snake, it's time for you to learn why they call me Fox. Ow, stop punching me. Oh, there you are, Kazza. Grey Fox, real name, Frank Giger, former member of Foxhound. He was the last man to hold the title of Fox in the Big Boss era, decorated five times. Yeah, I know all about how good he is, better than anyone else I fought with him. He's a cold-blooded hunter. He never lets his prey escape. Everybody in the unit respected him, looked up to him. That may be, Snake, but do you know about his past? It might help you out. Ten years ago, he was in the mercenary trade. No, we in the mercenary trade knew him as Fred, as Hunter. That's what Jaeger means in German. Back then, he was involved with some woman from the Eastern Bloc. He tried to get her to come over the fence, but it all fell through. Apparently, the West wasn't interested in taking her. That's when Frank started to hate the poli politicos. Politicos. What was the woman's name? She was an Olympic skater. Name, Gustava Hefner, real fine woman, movie star type. Gus Gustava Hefner? Snake, if you manage to beat Fox, I'll tell everyone that Starlet Snake is the greatest mercenary in the world. Over and out. Thanks, I guess. Come on. Come at me, brah. Come on! Yeah, nice try, son. Oh, 
Oh, he's going red. Ow. No, turn around. Gotcha. I win. Snake. Looks like it's finally time for me to give up the title of Fox. Fox, why? I'm not like you, Snake. My situation is more complicated. Big Boss might have just been another CO to you, but he saved my life twice. This was way before I joined the unit. The first time, I was a half-white living in Vietnam. It was after the war, and half-whites were being sent to, into forced labor camps. He saved me from that living hell, just like he saved all the children here. The second time was in Mozambique. I was being tortured as a Renamo soldier, and he saved me again. They cut off my ears and my nose, even though you can't see any scarring in that picture. And this is your idea of paying him back? No, you've got it all wrong. I hate war, just like all the kids here, but I need it. War is all we know. We can't make it in the normal world. We need the battlefield to survive. Big Boss gives us a place to fight. Conflict is in our blood. We can't deny it. I was born on the battlefield, and I'll die on the battlefield. All I can do is fight, Snake. All I can do is fight. Making people happy, making a woman happy, is something I could never do. You mean, guess I was always fated to die in action. Rest easy, Fox. I swear I won't turn out like you. Won't turn out like me? I'll have to remember that. Fight hard, Snake. Don't let your fans down. My fans? It was you, wasn't it? You were the voice on the radio. Call it payback for being so selfish. See you on the other side, Snake. You won't be alone, Frank. Gustava is waiting for you. Gustava. Thank you, Snake. You know, that woman that you blew up. Cartridge. Over here, Snake. <laughs> Over here, Snake. You're alive! Snake, welcome to Zanzibar land. I knew you'd come back to me. I came to get rid of the nightmares I've been having for the past three years. The nightmares? They never go away, Snake. Once you've been on the battlefield, tasted the exhilaration, the tension, it all becomes part of you. Once you've awakened the warrior within, it never sleeps again. You crave even bigger tensions, even bigger thrills. As a mercenary, I think you would have realized that by now. You care nothing for power, or money, or even sex. The only thing that satisfies your cravings is war. All I've done is give you a place for it. I've given you a reason to live. I never would have made you. I never would have made you for such a hypocrite, Big Boss. You saw those children, didn't you? Everyone is a victim of a war somewhere in the world, and they'll make fine soldiers in the next war. Start a war, fan its flames, create victims, then save them, train them, and feed them back onto the battlefield. It's a perfectly logical system. In this world of ours, conflict never ends, and neither does our purpose, our raison d'etre. So there's plenty of job opportunities, is that what you're trying to say? On the battlefield, you and I are valuable commodities, but back home, 
we're nothing but dead weight. If we're lucky, we might get the attention of some two-bit journalist from a cheap tabloid. You and I are doomed to remain here until we die like dogs on the battlefield. I've only got one fight left. To free myself from your grip. To rid myself of these nightmares. Big boss, I will defeat you. It doesn't matter who wins here. Our fight will continue. The loser will be liberated from the battlefield. And the winner will remain. And the survivor will live out the rest of his days as a soldier. Doesn't have to be that way. I'm not like you. I love life. Very well, Snake. I'll release you from your suffering. As your former commander, I'll do you one last favor and put you out of your misery. I don't need any more favors from you. Really? Just how do you expect... Ugh. Just how do you expect to beat me in your condition? With no weapon? Never give up. Fight until the end. Always believe you will succeed, even when the odds are against you. Those are your words. Even I make mistakes from time to time. Snake! This will be our final battle. Let's end this once and for all. Yeah. Right. Definitely gonna need that. So much acid around, annoyingly. Right, where is this first? One of these doors is open. Perfect. Right, let's go round again. Let's go round again. Maybe we'll turn back the hand of time. No. No, stop shooting me. At least let me go and get the blooming weapon that I need. You pin in the bum. The... Aha. Nothing in here, you joking? Oh, picked up card three, All right. Card three. Nope. Stop shooting me. Although this is a much more interesting fight than the last. Or the first game, say the last game, it's actually the first game, obviously. It's very sneaky. Where is he? Across the top, right? Oh, he's coming back this way. Go away! Stop coming back down towards me. I've got half of what I need. Oh, that was lucky. Ho, 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 ho. And that's why we keep that equipped. Is 
that all? Is this the last one? I think this is the last one. This looks like it is. Yes! Right. Where is he? Come on. Come on, where are you? more times. Gotcha. Ha ha! Snake! It's not over yet. I'm pretty sure it is. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Bye bye, big boss. The door opens. Curious. Freeze. It's okay. It's me, Snake. Yay. Holly? Did I scare you? Phew. That was a close one. So. What's going on? What are you doing here? You said it yourself. Stay alive and we'll meet again sometime. So I did. Uh, that uniform was too tight in the chest. Ah, I feel much better now. <laughs> here, I stole this gun from the enemy. You can have it. Yeah, I can see how it'd be hard for a woman to use that. Thanks. It's all over now, right, Snake? No. I still have one more job to do. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious, Holly. Snake, no, you can't. <laughs> you want me to call you a cab? Oh my god, that wasn't funny, Snake. That was pretty poor. This is Snake. Come in, Charlie. Who's on the same frequency as... Uh... Fox was when he was the fan. This is Charlie. Go ahead, Snake. I've got the cartridge. I'm ready to return to base. Making my way to the rendezvous point now. Roger that. I'll meet you there. Any passengers? Just one. Blonde. With a cute face. Sounds like a dream. Over and out. Cool. I've got a gun again. Holly, we've got to run as fast as we can to the rendezvous point. Think you can keep up? Is that a pro proposition, Snake? I'll take that as a yes. Cool, I got a gun. Run. Run, run. Oh, that is so not cool. safe, sort of. Up, 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 up. It's a good job that the rendezvous point is exactly where the, this game was ending, isn't it? It's very, very convenient. Ah. Through the jungle. Let's equip that anyway, just in case. Through the jungle. Really slow. Who put all these annoying wires here? What the hell is taking you so long? We're gonna be here at Christmas! 
This is Charlie, I'm 10 kilometers from the rendezvous point. Hold tight a little bit longer, over and out. Hurry! Oh man. Good job this thing hasn't got an ammo limit. Come on, keep walking into the bullets, keep walking into the bullets, that's it, keep coming. There we go, keep walking, keep walking. Got to be it, surely. Hello? Mr. Helicopter, where are you? Oh, you are kidding me! Oh, now I'm mad! Oh, that is so stupid! I hate those things! Right, speed through, blah 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 blah. Oh, that is so stupid. Game design. I hate those blimmin' holes in the floor. They give you no time to run away from them. At least the ones in, um... There's one there that I nearly fell down. At least the ones in Metal Gear Solid actually give you a decent amount of time to run away from them. And these stupid ones. Oh, that is so annoying. <sighs> run, 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 run. Do, 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 do. We're gonna keep running. Do, 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 do. Right, so keep away from that bottom third. A blah 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 blah. Keep coming. Come on. Come on. Damn. I'm out of ammo. Snake! Don't walk too far over. How am I out of ammo when it's unlimited? And there we go. It's a chopper. We're saved. Charlie, you're late. Sorry, man. I didn't want to disturb you two lovebirds. Really? I think we'll be home in time for Christmas. We'll be in home. It's time for dinner, Snake. Let's go then. I'm looking forward to Christmas dinner. I'm sick of these rations. Well, that's okay, because soon you'll have regenerative health. Or rather, your dad will. In the past. Up goes the helicopter. So he did even try and get in a few cutscenes and stuff here and there. Back in 1990, I hasten to add. Up it goes! And there we go. The helicopter is off on his way. Into the sunset. So, Metal Gear 2 has ended. Um, as I say, it's a hell of an improvement from the original game. Um, there's a lot more uh, character development in um, the cast. There's a lot more emphasis placed on sort of their history and backstory and interconnectedness with each other. Because of that, there's a lot more dialogue. Um, there's a few more bosses in there as well. There's a lot less kind of running around the same few floors in circles, going backwards and forth, backwards and forth, just for the sake of an item to get you a bit further. There's a lot more structure to the base. 
um, and it is still widely regarded as one of the best 8-bit games ever to have been made on any uh, platform for any genre of game and I can honestly still sort of play it quite happily every now and then um, obviously there are a few elements of the story where it's sort of grown and spread its wings a bit that uh, aren't quite as relevant as they were when it was originally written but it is still heavily kept within the main timeline canon um, it was referred to fairly heavily when Metal Gear Solid was played both in terms of the story itself and in terms of the design of some of the uh, bosses and levels and game mechanics. Things like the temperature control key, things like the um, female in the disguise, in the, the disguise of the enemy soldier helping you out. Um, things like the staircase that leads you up to the, uh, the top floor. Things like kind of breaking the fourth wall, even way back then, in this term it was the annoying kind of weird click code things um, that no one really knew what they are. I mean, maybe they did at the time, especially in Japan, but they're not really um, that well remembered now. Um, and they even had to make a point of letting you know that in order to complete the game you um, you need a certain codec uh, number which is obviously when you first meet up with Magnar because if you don't do that the uh, game won't progress so yeah it did take a lot of those things and improve them aha uh -huh. the typical Metal Gear ending let this play out because I cannot read it out loud that quickly you guys can pause it as and when uh, what's this oh the secret of the case yeah left his signature on it hmm it's written backwards Ta-da! There we go. Another fourth wall breaking moment there with the uh, MSX loading screen that you see even at the beginning of this. So yes, um, where was I? Oh yeah, things like fighting the hind, the fact that one of your old support characters becomes a ninja, that sort of thing comes back around in the next game. Um, this is the first introduction um, to Master Miller, although as you can see from this playthrough he didn't turn up until the pretty much the very end and that was almost by accident really. Um, you had a kind of ex-mercenary weapons a expert that we had in Mustasha going forward. Um, what else was there? scientists that developed Metal Gear that was kind of your support throughout most of it although it turns out obviously Madnar ends up betraying you um, but it's also heavily implied that he is the Madnar that's in Metal Gear Solid 4 so presumably he didn't die um, but then neither did Grey Fox and neither did Big Boss and they blew up so there we go so yes that as I say was uh, Metal Gear 2 um, moving on to the next game will be either um, Gran Turismo, Formula 197 or Micro Machines V3 all on the PlayStation 1 as I have said a few times now. Please drop a comment in this video um, to let me know which one of those games you would like me to play next. Alternatively you could uh, message me or tweet me on Twitter at RightlyWrongly or leave me a post on my Facebook page, that British Guy 86 um, But yes, I'm just going to leave it uh, here and uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>